It's Deligracy here, obviously, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Part 15, Hampton Falls. I totally got that round the wrong way. Let's play The Sims 4, Hampton Falls Part 15. I hope you guys have your Hampton Falls tea. Is this a flask? What do you call something like this? I don't even know. So cheers to you guys. I hope you're having a really good week and enjoying yourselves and are excited for this part of the Let's Play. In the last part, we had uh, quite a few things happen. It turns out Esther is pregnant. Some of you guys picked up on that earlier, but now everyone knows. Esther is now pregnant. She confided in Bianca out of all people because she's not really feeling close to anyone, which is crazy because uh, Bianca's like not a trustworthy person at all. And she hates Crystal, her sister. So good job, Esther, for telling Bianca. And and also Noah has gotten together with Akira and they are like seeing each other exclusively. So he came out to his family and said that he would like their family to meet him as his boyfriend. So that's really exciting. And we finished off the last episode with Morgan catching Joel having a moment with Constance. This is beginning to make Morgan really, really jealous. So things are about to get interesting. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this Let's Play. Let's get into it. I'm not even kidding. I just logged into my game. And guess who started a fire? I think Lauren has, but Lauren is showing us a lot of bravery right now. I mean, Mr. Lockwood just runs away. Morgan runs outside, almost about to pop. I mean, if there's a time you're gonna have a baby, it's probably when you're like in shock and it forces your water to break. And oh my gosh, if Morgan gives birth right now, that would be so perfect. It looks like Lauren here, who we always described her as a bit of a mean girl from the beginning of the Let's Play. She's kind of, I think, finding a bit of depth to her character now. I think she's becoming a better person. I think this kind of showcases that, which is really quite impressive when you have a mom who's absolutely crazy. Also, a few of you guys, um, I'm just gonna get her to go to the toilet. And it is five in the morning right now on a Sunday. So so she doesn't have school today, which is fine. We said in the last part, Blaine was probably getting more and more crazy and detached from reality. He's beginning to grow a beard. He's slowly becoming a little bit more casual in how he dresses. And that's really not what Morgan wanted um, to marry into. And Lauren taking a selfie there and uploading it. She's feeling pretty good today. Maybe we should, for a change, take Lauren out with the family. Maybe we could have a family day, you guys. We never have happy family days in this <laughs> Let's Play. Morgan's probably on her computer again, stalking um, Joel and Constance, figuring out who this Constance woman is and sussing it all. But I'm thinking that she's going to tell Joel that it's his baby because she doesn't want him seeing Constance. She wants Joel's attention. So I think that's what's gonna happen. She's probably wondering how on earth to get rid of Blaine now because she looks like a home wrecker, which is not good for her socially. He's quit his job. Like, what's the point of having him? He's just going to cost her more pairs of shoes. Yeah, I think it's time for us all to go out. And Levi over here, we haven't spent much time on Levi. He's kind of just been in the background. If you guys have any ideas for what Levi's gonna turn out like, please let me know. His mom is crazy. It might run in the jeans if it's not carrying on to Lauren. Okay, so we are at the Winterberg Park. Um, <laughs> Lauren goes again taking yeah. selfies. So we figured out she's pretty self-obsessed with her appearance right now, taking a lot of selfies, loving sharing uh, pictures around. Maybe she's thinking about she wants a boyfriend. Maybe she's completely scared of the idea of having a boyfriend after seeing so many um, men with her mom and her father dying. Maybe she is like anti getting with anyone. I don't know, but we know she's uploading to social media a lot. And she has always wanted to be really popular, like a friend of the world. She does have three friends, which is good. <laughs> but she does want to introduce herself to a few Sims too. Invite Zachary to play Face Explorer. That sounds good. Let's maybe ask Lauren to spend a little bit of time with her mom. Oh, she was trying to have a moment with her mom and Blaine interrupted. Blaine's probably obsessed with Morgan and she's probably like, uh, can't we have some time together, mom? Okay, there goes Blaine in for the kiss. Oh, and he walks straight through Lauren. Well, maybe that's uh, symbolic of how Lauren is kind of ignored when it comes to all of Morgan's men. Oh, she's like, wow, mom, this is crazy. You're almost due. I can't believe I'm going to have a little brother or sister. Then Morgan just ditched her. I feel like Morgan spends like no time with her daughter at all. So poor Lauren, she's probably, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of her being afraid to be in a relationship because her dad died and her mom's with countless men who she doesn't really ever have any real emotions for. So maybe Lauren kind of feels like that too. Oh my gosh, Lauren. 
Whoa! Oh my gosh, how did... What in the world? How did that even happen? Oh my gosh! Lauren and Erica despise each other. Oh, damn! Okay, this is crazy. So Lauren just got into a fight with a seriously random person at the park. Okay, maybe Lauren is a little bit more crazy than what we thought. And Morgan's like, what are you doing? I am pregnant right now. How dare you? You are so selfish, Lauren. I am the one who's pregnant. I am the one who needs to not have any stress in my life. And Blaine's like, what just happened? I just don't deserve to have such a crazy daughter. Oh, teenagers, Blaine. <laughs> and then she goes on to pretend like everything is okay in her life. And they're taking selfies. It's like she doesn't care about Lauren at all. So here I was thinking Lauren's really nice. Lauren's like a good sim. But I think deep down, Lauren has a lot of problems since growing up with Morgan. It's really interesting to get to know her a little bit better. Uh, so if you guys have any ideas of what kind of person Lauren is going to be, do let me know in the comments down below. All right, so Lauren bailed from her family catch-up. I don't think she wanted to be around her mom after her mom really didn't care about the fight she got into. Maybe she got into the fight because she wanted some attention from her mom because she never gets attention. And maybe she's starting to feel like she's just a sheep and her friends don't give her attention or take her seriously. Uh, so she's over at Bianca's house where everyone is kind of catching up. And Bianca... Uh, Bianca, I think, would not really like Lauren that much because Lauren's mom is now seeing her dad. So I feel like there would be a lot of jealousy right here. So I think she's going to punish Lauren a little bit for it. So tease her a little bit in front of the group, like say some mean things about her, just insult her a little bit. Um, and maybe trash another sim. Can she trash Morgan? Uh, okay, she can't trash Morgan, which, which would have been perfect. Uh, maybe she would go the route of trashing her own dad, actually, being like, my dad quit his job, your mom can have him, or something like that. She's like, you'll never be a part of our family as much as you try to be. That kind of thing is, uh, I, yeah, I think that's how she would treat Lauren. And she's like, what is with your black eye, Lauren? You know, you look really ugly, having some family problems. Well, your mom's a home wrecker, so it's not like it's any different for you from a normal day. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> Emmy is such a good singer. Oh, oh, yeah. Listen to her. Oh my gosh, I love the sass as well. That is awesome. And I'm sure Larissa is very happy that Emmy and Colt are together and so Crystal and Colt. She definitely didn't like that. She's probably like, Colt, sweetie, you need to go have a shower. You've been working out so hard for that basketball final. Something like that. Oh, and here's our OTP. Love these two together. Super sweet. Oh, Emmy is so head over heels for Colt. But I feel like Colt deep down, like he's still obsessed with Crystal. Like we know he is fully in love with Crystal. Even though Emmy is so awesome and so talented, she's probably noticing as well that something's not quite right with him. I feel like she knows that as much as she likes him, maybe he's still into Crystal. Now I'm going to get Bianca to do something really mean to Lauren. I'm actually going to kick Lauren out of the group. All right, so we're gonna go over to Lauren and we're going to go to club and kick out, kick out of Bianca's bitches, which is really, really mean, but she's just gonna be like, you got into a fight at the park with some random lady and you have a black eye. We don't associate ourselves with people like you. Plus, your mom's a home wrecker. So that's what she's gonna say. Oh. Oh, now she's crying. So I think Astrid would have a bit of a word to Bianca and be like, Bianca, you're the best. Bianca can be like, I know that you're really close with Lauren, but I'm actually doing you a favor. You don't wanna be with girls like that. Astrid's probably thinking, uh, what am I gonna do? Like, do I want to still be friends with Lauren? Can I be friends with Lauren when Bianca doesn't like Lauren? Like, Astrid's a bit of a sheep, so she's probably a little bit confused about what to do. And look who is getting all hot and heavy here in the sauna. Look at these two. Well, oh, and look who else is in here. How, Huda? 
Huda's just randomly using their sauna. <laughs> okay. Maybe she's like an old friend of the family, something like that. I feel like Astrid would actually say something to Bianca though, because it's just like Lauren is her best friend. She probably is in a really awkward position now because she feels like she has to do everything Bianca says, but she also feels like she needs to be loyal to Lauren as well and be like, Sir Bianca, don't you think that was maybe a little bit rough, like kicking her out of the club like that? Um, you know, Shape everyone makes emotions. mistakes and she's having a lot of family troubles at the moment. Bianca's probably like, oh, family troubles? What about my family troubles, Astrid? I can't believe you could be so rude to me. If you would rather be on her side, then you can leave my club too, Astrid. It's up to you. If you want to be associated with people like her. Astrid's like, no, I'm, I'm okay. I just thought maybe... Because you're so nice, maybe you'd give her a second chance. <laughs> I'm not nice to people that aren't nice to me, Astrid. And her mum ruined my family. <laughs> I feel like Larissa will be very, very proud of her daughter for kicking Lauren out of the club. She's probably thinking, sweetie, you're such a beautiful family member, such a beautiful daughter. I'm so proud of you for playing family first. You're nothing like your father. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she's probably like, sir, I want to take us away on a trip to Selva Dorada. Also, we do have to think about uh, Larissa and her current relationship. Does she want to remain a single woman or does she feel like she needs to marry a man like Tadashi right away to feel like her social ranking is, you know, in place and where she wants to be? I'm also going to give uh, Tadashi a call because we want to keep that relationship going as, oh my gosh, she's making like a private call in the bathroom. Um, she doesn't want the kids to hear, but I feel like she would be thinking she needs a high profile man in her life again. I feel like she'd feel like that is damage control and Tadashi is the perfect bachelor for her and Tadashi probably wants the same thing. Perhaps like being a celebrity composer, he'd probably have a lot of women throwing themselves at him and maybe he just wants to settle down with someone so I feel like these two are pretty keen on each other and maybe um, marriage would be a very quick thing for them as well and also her husband got engaged like straight away with Morgan so she's probably like I want to do I want to find someone too all right you guys so Morgan has had a really fun day out with Blaine and or Mr Lockwood whatever you want to call him and it is now time for her to go into labor and she didn't actually get to tell Joel that she was pregnant in time so Joel's just gonna find out he has a kid, which is pretty crazy, but pregnancies, uh, they're quick in The Sims Fall. They are very, very quick. So she hasn't even signed in. She knows straight where to go. She's done this twice before. And yeah, she definitely does not want to be stuck with Blaine and this child, I don't think. She wants Joel, so she's gonna call Joel back, I think. Um, all right. Here comes the baby, the little bambino. Oh my God, Morgan looks even more crazy when she's like being operated on. <laughs> oh, it's got her heart. She's like, what is going on? What is happening to me? Oh my gosh, the baby is here. <gasps> is it gonna be a boy or girl? It's a boy. Oh my gosh, okay. Do you know what would be really creepy if she like named it Joel? <laughs> Joel Jr. <laughs> Although that might be a little bit obvious. Um, so maybe she'll call him, let's call him Aaron Monk. Oops, got that wrong. Aaron Monk, little Aaron Monk. Aaron Joel Monk. Oh, that's creepy. Ah! We had another boy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we had twins. Okay, um, so it can be Aaron, Joel, and Aaron and Andy, no, Aaron and Kurt, Monk. Kurt, Raheem, Leroy. Leroy Monk's cool. I like the name Leroy. Let's do Leroy. What? Okay. I have never had triplets, ever. And I did not intend to have triplets at all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I'm freaking out a little bit. Um, triplets? This is like too much. Uh, oh my God. We're having triplets? So Joel doesn't have one baby. He has triplets. Three babies. 
I don't know if this is a glitch with like MC mod, but I have never had triplets before. Rain Monk is really pretty. Amy Monk, uh, Stella. Ooh, what should we call her? I think Celeste Monk would be a good name. Oh, thank God. I was worried we were going to have like quadruplets. I can't believe we've had three babies. Oh my God. The doctor's like, wow. Oh, the doctor's quite good looking actually. Uh, Zayden Dwight. Hello, Zayden. Oh my God. Not one, not two, but three babies. Oh my gosh. I, I'm, I'm shooketh. I am shooketh. That means she's got five kids. Wow. Okay. And then she's just straight back into shape. She's looking wonderful. Oh my gosh. Meanwhile, Blaine thinks he's just had like three kids. Maybe I'm just wondering if somehow she could like smuggle a kid to Joel and be like, no, Blaine would know how many kids she had from going to the hospital with her. You can't hide. You can't hide that, can you? Wow. That is actually insane. Well, it is a full moon, you guys, so auspicious things happen on full moons. Uh, let's go back to Morgan's house. She's already in bed. Ah, where are the babies? Where are the babies? Whoa, where are my babies at? Oh, there's one here. Oh, they've spawned randomly in the corridor. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, okay, we definitely need to make some changes right now. Uh, okay, so that's Lauren's room. Uh, this is really, really awkward. They kind of desperately need... I think we're going to have to make this into a nursery space. So I'm just going to delete a few things out of here. And yeah, this can just be where the nursery is now. So we've got baby one, baby two, and we're still missing baby three. I can't believe this. This is actually insane triplets okay there's baby three. Oh my gosh i don't even remember their names i feel like morgan's probably she's probably taking like heaps of not fertilizer but stuff to make her more fertile who knows because she wanted to have a baby with the man she seduced oh my gosh there's three of them to take care of i am dying right now okay breastfeed we need nanny, we need a nanny stat. Okay, let's just get, I can't deal with this. I'm stressed already, hire a service. Oh my gosh, and Lauren's like, what is going on? Wait, did I just cancel that? Uh, hire a service, please. Okay, sketch, we need a nanny. We need a nanny like all the time. Okay, Lauren's already taking care of the kids. I feel like Lauren's going to become the kid's mother, if anything. Um, bottle feed. Good grief. Oh my gosh, she just doesn't want anything to do with them. She's like, uh, eh, the nanny can take care of them. That is so Morgan. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, um, cuddle them. I don't know what to do with Blaine, by the way. He's like, I can't deal with this. How on earth did we have three kids? Leroy is very hungry. Okay, they're all hungry. Okay, well, let's bottle feed. Okay, feeding them, Aww. excellent. <laughs> my goodness me, it's just like crazy. Yeah. Hi there, my name is Nanny Chandra, nice to meet you. I am sensibly sufficient in every way. I can play cook and mentor, and yes, I'm not opposed to changing diapers and cleaning up messes awesome. if needed. Let's have a fun day together. Thank God for the nanny. Oh my gosh. Well, oh, this is yeah. sweet. This is a sweet moment. Let's just hope Esther doesn't end up having triplets. Oh my goodness me. Is it because like MC Command Center, they're more likely? I don't know. Oh, the baby's so cute. Oh. So just to recap, we have Leroy, Celeste, and Aaron Joel. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, so Leroy, Celeste, and Aaron Joel. That is so crazy. Okay, and Lauren has a black eye. Lauren's being kicked out of the group of friends. So I feel like Lauren's gonna maybe focus on bringing up the babies because her mom won't. Oh my God, her dad's here. <gasps> the dad who got murdered is upstairs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's probably come in here as like a warning. What? What is going on? Where is he? He's like haunting the place. He's probably trying to get back at Morgan and Mr. Lockwood. Oh my gosh. 
That is so crazy that he, the night he comes to visit on is the night that those three triplets were born. He's probably like trying to warn Blaine like to get out, to get away, because she's gonna like kill him off or something. <gasps> My gosh. Yadavel what? Smith. Um, that is so creepy. And the babies are crying again. Oh, guys, I can't deal with this. Okay, Lauren's gonna definitely uh, change the dirty diaper, change the dirty diaper. Oh, stress is real right now. Stress is real. Oh, Blaine earned $7,000 from investing this week. Oh, well, that's good. I'm glad we get some investments happening. Okay, so Lauren's gonna do all the work. I don't understand why the nanny's not doing this. The nanny's just doing nothing. Blaine's just asleep in the bed. My gosh. Well, this is Lauren's calling, I guess. Okay, all the babies are sleeping. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Little Levi's getting help from his dad with his homework. Oh. That's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Their dad looks like such a nice man as well. Well, maybe get maybe Lauren gets half of the niceness from her dad. Oh, that's that really touches my heart right now.